Let's take a look at the case study. Does it have the characteristics of a solid reinvestment task? In an LES, Miss Amanda asked her Secondary 1 students to read the following popular classic fairy tales, Cinderella and Little Red Riding Hood. For the reinvestment task, students were asked to invent their own fairy tale inspired by one of the two classics and to use the text components of a fairy tale. When we're trying to determine whether a reinvestment task is in fact a solid reinvestment task or not, there are a few questions we should consider. What level are the students? Is that indicated in the model task? In this task, the students are in secondary one. Is the task meaningful and authentic? That is, is it relevant to students' lives? Or does it simulate real life scenarios? Because the model task does not have an audience or a purpose, it really is difficult to determine whether it is meaningful and authentic. Is there a clear purpose in this task? That is, will students understand why they're being asked to accomplish the task? No, there is not. Will the students know who their fairy tale is for? Is there an intended audience? How will they know what kind of language to use? No. In addition to having no purpose, there is no intended audience. What evaluation criterion is targeted here? Is it use of knowledge from texts in your reinvestment task? No, it is not. In this case, students are asked to write a piece of creative writing. This lends itself more to a C3 task than a C2 task. In addition, the fairy tale that students choose may not be essential to carrying out this reinvestment task. Students may rely heavily on their prior knowledge. For example, classic fairy tales are well known in students' mother tongue, and they may also be explored in their French class. Will the students select, organize, and adapt knowledge from texts provided in light of purpose and audience? No, they will not. And while they are asked to use the text components of a fairy tale, at the secondary level, it isn't enough for students to reinvest only text components in their final product. They must reinvest a substantial amount of information and ideas and language from the text provided. Just because this task doesn't currently meet the requirements for a solid reinvestment task doesn't mean it can't be tweaked to do just that. We already know the level of the students. They are secondary cycle one students. To make the task meaningful or authentic, we could ask students to write a version of the classic fairy tale from another character's perspective, such as the villain. For example, it could be from the wolf, from the stepmother, from a stepsister, for an elementary school library. Purpose and audience go hand in hand, but unfortunately, we have neither in the case study model. We're having secondary cycle one students write a version of a classic fairy tale from another character's perspective. The audience for this could easily be elementary cycle two students, and the purpose could be to entertain them. The evaluation criteria in a solid reinvestment task must be use of knowledge from texts in a reinvestment task. Of course, we can provide feedback on the use of strategies. The task requirements for a solid reinvestment task are select, organize, and personalize knowledge from text provided in light of purpose and audience. So here in our example, the text that is being used is a classic fairy tale. So we would like the students to select relevant knowledge. So for example, characters, character traits, the setting. Uh, we also might like them to use typical fairy tale expressions like once upon a time, and they lived happily ever after. We would like them to organize this knowledge from the text coherently. So for example, in a story map, there will be a beginning, an ending. Also, we need them to remain true to the original fairy tale. So for example, uh, the same characters, some of the similar events. We'd like them to adapt this knowledge in view of the task by using information and ideas and language, using their own words, of course, for example, to present the events through the villain's perspective. Maybe they can modify the conflict and the resolution to fit the villain's perspective. So they'll adapt the fairy tale components by, for example, writing an unhappy ending to the story. So I hope this was useful.